When you look up at the sky at night, what do you see? If it's not too cloudy, then probably some tiny light specks from distant stars and possibly the moon. However, an overwhelming majority is complete darkness. This is an observation which we take for granted, as without modern cosmology, it actually leads to a paradox. Let me explain. When we think of the universe, many think of it as being infinite. This means that space goes on forever and ever. Let's consider what the night sky would look like in this scenario. As you look out into an infinite universe, one would eventually see light from a star no matter where you looked. This makes sense, in an infinite universe at some point every line of sight would intersect a star, and so that portion of the sky would be bright. So over the entire sky, you should expect every part, every small portion, to be in line with a distant star, and so the entire sky should be bright, even at night time. Obviously this isn't the case, which has led to a paradox known as Olber's Paradox named after Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers, a German astronomer who lived in the late 1700s and early 1800s. Every credible model for our universe assumes two important things, homogeneity and isotropy. Homogeneity is that every point in the universe is the same. This is true for our universe. On large scales, the universe is the same everywhere, mostly made out of voids with some dark energy thrown in there. Obviously, there's galaxies and stars and planets too, but compared to the masses of empty space, the universe is homogeneous. The other important feature, isotropy, means that the universe looks the same in every direction. Again, this is true. Looking out from Earth, we pretty much see the same things everywhere. Empty voids, stars and galaxies evenly distributed. So our universe is also isotropic. Fundamentally, this means that our place in the universe is not special. We're not at its centre, as there is no centre. We are just one point of infinitely many of the same. Also, homogeneity doesn't necessarily imply isotropy. For example, a universe with a constant magnetic field is homogeneous, but it is not isotropic, as you could distinguish directions based on the direction of the magnetic field. Being isotropic about every point does imply homogeneity, however. Anyway, our universe is homogeneous and isotropic. This is shown by the cosmic microwave background radiation, which I'll put on screen here. The colours deviate by such a small amount in reality that overall the universe satisfies those two assumptions. But this doesn't help as much. If anything, it adds to the paradox. If the universe looks the same in every direction, eventually we would see a star and the sky should be permanently bright. Olber's original solution to this paradox was that the light from really distant stars is obscured by interstellar dust. This dust, which is really light nuclei floating around in space, blocks the light and is why the sky is mostly dark. This is not a resolution to the paradox, sadly. If dust was blocking the light, then eventually the dust would be heated up as it absorbs it, and would at some point be hot enough to re-emit any light incident upon it. This thermal emission of light would then reach us and the entire sky would be bright again, but it isn't, so dust cannot be what's making the sky dark. The true solution to the paradox comes from considering what's infinite about our universe. Back in Olber's time, it was assumed the universe was static, meaning unchanging, and that it had existed forever. They believed the universe was infinite in time and in space, and that's what is causing the paradox. Of course, given enough time, light would reach Earth from every star in infinite space and the sky would be bright. So the solution is that time cannot be infinite. The universe must have an age, which we now know to be around 13.8 billion years. Think now of a universe which has a beginning and is expanding infinitely. Yes, eventually every line of sight would reach a star, but as there's only been a finite time past, the light from most stars has yet to reach us. Light doesn't travel instantly, however, and since the universe hasn't been around forever, light from most stars hasn't been able to reach us yet. Moreover, as the universe is expanding, and is most likely infinite in space, light from distant stars gets redshifted to micro and radio wavelengths which we cannot see with our eyes. The main solution however comes from the fact that the universe is of finite age, this solves Olber's paradox. Therefore, the somewhat mundane observation of noticing the sky is dark at night is really supporting evidence that the universe has a finite age and thus had a beginning, i.e. a Big Bang. Now, I know Big Bang models aren't yet perfect at explaining cosmic history, but this paradox has proven for once and for all that the universe has not been around forever. So next time you're out at night and admiring the stars, admire the darkness in the sky instead, and stand in awe at how that proves our universe had a beginning in time. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I know I have, and if you've learnt something new, please consider liking and subscribing. But as always, thank you for watching.